Hey, welcome back, guys. JC here, and this is how you wire in your FlySky X, yeah, X6B receiver to your fly controller, uh, as well as set everything up in Betaflight, and all this using the Eternity Evolution transmitter. If you haven't bound your receiver yet, then watch my last video. Look in the description below, and I'll have a link to that video as well as many others. So first, you need to determine if you want to use PPM, SBus, or IBus. Well, how do you know which one you want to use? Basically, iBus is the best, SBus is second best, and PPM is the, my last choice. But PPM does have a benefit. SBus and iBus both require a UART port, specifically a receive on a UART port, where PPM does not require a UART port at all. So if you have any free UARTs not being used by any other devices, then I will recommend iBus or SBus. If you have already used up all of your UART ports for other devices, like your on-screen displays or uh, you know, GPS, anything like that, then you can use PPM. If you do choose to use iBus, you have to understand that uh, not all flight controllers and firmware support iBus. In that case, you would have to use SBus. How do you know if your flight controller and firmware supports iBus? Really, there's no way of telling, just the trial and error method. And, uh, I'll show you once we set everything up in Betaflight how to you know, switch back and forth. As far as locating your UART ports or PPM pin, I'll give you a few different examples, uh, some different layouts. On this here Omnibus, you will see where it says SBus and PPM is referring to this pin right here. So whether you want SBus, IBus, or PPM, uh, your signal wire will go on this pin no matter what. Like I said, SBus and iBus require UART ports, and this is not labeled as a UART port, but any flight controller that says SBus, it's actually a receive on a UART port. It's just not labeled as a UART. On the Seriously Pro Racing Evo, you have ground and 5 volts, so black and red wire. Then on the third pin down, it says R2, which means receive for UART number 2, or PPM. So once again, SBus, iBus, and PPM, all three would be placed on this pin. The SB Racing Mini, you have ground, 5 volt, and R1, which is receive for UART number 1. Or if you want PPM, then you would place your PPM wire on the PPM pin right here. On the Seriously Dodo, you've got ground and 5 volts, so black wire, red wire. Then you have PPM on channel number one, and if you look down, you will see U3RX, which means UART number three, receive on pin number three. So you'd have SBus or IBus on three, PPM on channel one. And that's enough examples. So now that we have all determined uh, or located the pins for whatever we want to use, and we've gone ahead and wired it in, now let's set up the transmitter. Also, if you want to use PPM, make sure you have this connector on this plug on the right side. If you want to use IBUS or SBUS, then have it on this one. So you want to click on Settings, come down to Output Mode. If you chose to use PPM, then just select PPM and you can completely ignore what's on this side because the transmitter is going to ignore it automatically. If you chose SBUS or IBUS, select that here and then uh, don't worry about what's on this side because it's going to ignore that. Now let's plug in our USB cable and get ready to go into Betaflight. Some flight controllers will power the receiver with just the USB. Some you have to plug in a LiPo battery. So either way, get power to the receiver. If you don't have a solid red light, then this means you did not bind it yet. Once again, look in the description below and you will find my video on how to bind it. Now going into Betaflight, first let's go to ports, and everything I am about to say only applies to SBus and IBus guys. If you chose to use PPM, then ignore everything I say on this page. You will not do anything at all on this page if you're using PPM. So for you IBus and SBus guys, uh, you need to find the number of the UART that you placed your signal wire on. And in cases like this, where I said it's uh, you know it just says SBus, it doesn't give you a UART number. Use process of elimination. I know that UART number one is placed over here, UART number two, so that means this must be UART number three. It can't be anything else. So because my signal wire is on UART number three, I will come over here and turn on Serial RX, and that's it. Now, if your flight controller 
uh, if you place your signal wire on UART number one, then you need to turn off MSP and turn on Serial RX because your flight controller can't do two things at once, or the UART can't do two things at once. Now with that said, if you do not see USB VCP, then do not turn off MSP for UART number one. If you don't see VCP, which stands for a virtual COM port, then your flight controller does not have a virtual COM port. And for you guys, the USB is linked into UART number one. And if you turn off MSP, you will lock up the flight controller and you'll have to basically unbrick it by flashing new firmware and erasing everything. So in that case, for you guys that don't have USB VCP, you will have to place your SBUS or IBUS signal wire on your two or three. You cannot use number one. For those of you that do see VCP, you can place your receiver on your one and turn off MSP. Okay, now let's all go ahead and save and reboot. Now we all want to go to configuration. For you guys that chose to use PPM, you can just set this to PPM and that's it, you're done. Save and reboot. If you are using SBUS or IBUS, select serial based receiver. Come down here and choose SBUS or IBUS. Then save and reboot. Now to test everything out, let's go to receiver. And if you move your gimbals around, you should see roll pitch, y'all, and throttle all moving. If you uh, you can test out your switches. And if you see everything moving, then you're done. Now, if you chose to use IBUS and it is not working, then this more than likely means that uh, your flight control and firmware does not support it. So in that case, go back into your uh, evolution transmitter, change it from IBUS to SBUS. Uh, keep in mind you have to have your receiver powered off to, to do that. Then reapply power to your receiver. Uh, also, remember to go back to configuration and switch this from IBUS to SBUS. And then retest it back in receiver and everything should now be working. That's going to do it for this video guys. Uh, like I said, look in the description below for other helpful videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.